Good morning, you guys, from my new office. I just took a shower, clearly, but I wanted to start off the vlog. I had to run down here and come get my camera because I am gonna vlog today. So welcome back to another vlog. My name is Maggie, if you're new to my YouTube channel. Happy Thanksgiving Eve. I am getting ready for the day. Also, you guys, look how cute this birthday card is that my brother got me. This picture of Milo is so funny because whenever I come home at night, he's always peeking through the sliding door. Like, look at his little eyes. And I sent it to my brother once, and he literally printed it out on a birthday card and gave it to me for my birthday. And I just thought that it was so funny because, like, my, all you can see is Milo's little eyes. And it made me laugh. I need to do skincare, but I wanted to show you guys my skin has improved so much. I don't know if you can tell in the camera, but I can tell like more, I think, in real life. Just like the way that my skin is. It's doing so much better than it was before. And I'm very happy about it. I've been on this new like acne regimen and so I'm working well for my skin and I'm really happy, so yeah. Skincare is done. I've also been doing some of this oil. It's just cuticle oil on my nails. I do like a little dot at the top of my nail and I just massage that in because my hands have been getting so dry in the winter and I hate like having a, I don't know, like dry fingers. Do this we are done I really should blow dry my hair right now but I'm not really in the mood to blow dry it but although it like does make my bangs look so much better when they're blow dried I just I think I'm just gonna let my hair air dry because I don't want to put a lot of heat on it right now my camera ended up dying while I was upstairs and my charger is down here <laughs> but I just blow dried my hair and I just put on a little bit of blush and bronzer and kind of got ready for the day. I mean, what is going on with my bang? Anyway, I'm gonna make a little breakfast right now because, well, I literally haven't eaten anything and it's like almost lunchtime. I feel like I've just been like so, doing so much this morning, but I'm gonna make a little yogurt bowl. This is the yogurt that I'm using. It's a coconut yogurt and it has a lot of probiotics in it. And I'm gonna do a little bit of this. And then I'm gonna do some of this maple spice granola. It's gluten-free, vegan, grain-free. It has really good ingredients. It doesn't have any um, like canola oil or anything like that or any added sugar I really like this one. I just got it from Whole Foods and I'm also going to do some blueberries and then I'm just going to do a little drizzle of honey on top Guys, it's literally so cold. <laughs> I wasn't expecting it to be this cold when I got it went outside because I walked the dogs earlier and it wasn't this cold but yeah, I'm like freezing now. But anyway, I was just gonna tell you guys, I need to get better at eating breakfast because I just like wake up in the morning and I'm like not hungry, but I know I need to eat. And sometimes I'm just like not in the mood to cook and I feel like I had avocado toast every day for like years that I don't even, I don't even want to look at avocado toast anymore. So I've been just like trying to find new things to eat for breakfast and I don't know, right now I'm like, I did yogurt bowl this morning, which was fine, but I just feel like, I don't know, I like don't get that hungry when I first wake up. I don't know why, but also I need to like make sure that I eat because I can't be drinking coffee on an empty stomach. That's really bad for you. Also, this lip balm right here is so good. The Makeup by Mario in Pink Glow. It's so creamy and nice. 
and I really like it a lot. I just picked up a coffee from Starbucks. You guys, they didn't have the holiday cups today. And I was so sad because I love getting them. They just like put me in the best mood, but I got a chestnut praline. And honestly, it's not the best. I feel like it doesn't really have that much flavor, but it's okay. And I just got to the seaport. I'm just sitting in my car right now. I wanna sip my coffee for a little bit longer before I go into Sephora. I'm gonna go pick up a few things, which I will show you guys after, but kind of disappointed about the coffee because I was really excited about it. It's okay, I feel like the Starbucks I went to was just like really busy. That's probably why <laughs> it doesn't taste like it normally does. I just got home from Sephora. I also just opened up some really, really cool PR boxes, which I'm very excited about. This one is from Brooklinen and I'm so excited because I've been wanting to get one of these hatch lights and I put it on my gift guide, my Christmas gift guide and I was gonna buy one and they just sent me one and it was so exciting when i opened it up and i have like a gua sha set and then i got some tatcha products some new mej clips and stuff some jewelry this is all the stuff that i got from sephora and then mej also sent over this hat which i'm really excited about it's so cute on but i'm gonna show you guys what i got at sephora first thing i got a brazilian bum bum cream spray it just smells so good and I used to wear this like a really long time ago and I was like wait I need to get it again because sometimes I just want to like spray something yummy on my clothes but I don't want to wear like perfume especially like after I shower or at nighttime. so I just got that and then I also got a highlight brush I got two of the makeup by Mario lips that I was just talking about a little bit ago I got rose glow and petal glow these are the two shades that I got. They're really nice. They're just like neutral pink shades. And then I also got this highlighter by Lady Gaga's brand. And I got the Peach Quartz. And it just looks like this. It's so pretty. And then I got a new Necessaire body serum because I really needed a new one. I ran out. And that is everything that I got. We're in the office now. <laughs> Catching up on some work. Guys, I have something really exciting. Actually, I'm not even catching up on work, like I'm very up to date, but I'm just going through emails because I haven't like physically sat down at my computer yet today, but I just did and I have some really exciting news about my Revolve capsule collection. It is going to be coming in early 2023 and I'm freaking out, like I just can't even believe that I'm gonna be having my own collection with Revolve. Like this had been a dream of mine, like back when I used to make like vision boards and journal and just like set goals for myself. I would always say, I wanna have a clothing line with Revolve. And I just thought that it was like a goal that would be far, far into the future. Like once I was like older, <laughs> I guess, and had like a million followers. Oh, I think a package just got here, which I'm actually glad that the dogs are outside right now because usually they go crazy when package comes but anyway what i was saying was i thought that it would be like when i had a million followers or just like just not happen right now sorry i had to go <laughs> get um these chairs that got delivered but what was i saying oh yeah i was just talking about like how i'm coming out with the revolve collection i'm like working on a lot of stuff right now like finalizing things for like what i want the tag to say and all that so that's really exciting and i'm very excited for you guys to see the collection i kind of wish that i had told them i wanted to come out with a fall winter collection but i just felt like it would be a little bit too like rushed to have the collection come out in the fall winter because I only found out in the summer that I was coming out with it. So it's gonna be like a spring collection, which maybe hopefully in the future I can do a fall winter collection as well. But yeah, that's just what like worked out the best. So anyway, I'm gonna get some work done though. Um, and I'll talk to you guys in a little bit. Hi guys, I've had such a long day. I just got back from Target and I got blankets for the couch downstairs. 
I have to cover up the whole entire couch with blankets because it just gets so dirty from the dogs. So I went to Target and I finally bought just like a bunch of little fuzzy blankets from the brand, I think Threshold, but yeah, anyway. Then I came home and I actually set up this garland on the railings and it looks so good. I just got them from Crate and Barrel <laughs> and I put two right here and then I also put one right here and I have this berry garland which I'm going to put here on the living room. Once I figure out this area, I'm not gonna set up the Christmas tree yet because I like wanna wait for Mac to do that so we can set it up together. But I really don't know what to do with this space. It's kind of just like an awkward area. I don't have a rug yet, but also I was thinking about like where I'm gonna put the Christmas tree because at first I wanted to put it here, but I just realized I can't because of the heater vent. There's also another vent over in this corner, so I think the Christmas tree is gonna have to go here, which means I'm gonna have to move this chair. I'll probably have to put it in this corner, but that just worries me because obviously like the heater is over here as well. And then this table will all just have to move. Even though I wanted to like set it up and put the stockings and stuff. I just don't know what I'm going to do yet. I need to figure that out still. But anyway, oh my god, also look at this little toy that I got Milo. It's so cute. It's a little reindeer. And he's been obsessed with going to the beach lately and playing with the ball. He just like literally lays with it and snuggles with it because he's just obsessed and he found this tennis ball at the beach today, didn't you? And he brought it all the way home and he gets so dirty at the beach and he loves it. I just poured myself a glass of wine and I'm gonna go upstairs to the office actually and do some early Black Friday shopping because I've been, also I'm sorry about this angle, I just have so much stuff in my hands right now. I want to do some early Black Friday shopping because I've been seeing people posting about sales and stuff like that. So I was like, you know what? I just need to get it done because there's specific things that I've been wanting and I've been waiting for this exact moment for the Black Friday sales. So I'm going to do that. I need to take a shower or like take a bath and then put the whole entire couch together because I'm washing the whole entire couch. I'm really excited, but I'm waiting for it to dry right now. It's in the dryer. bed right now because I got new sheets. I'm so excited. They're organic cotton sheets and I've had linen on my bed for the longest time and I thought, you know what? I'm going to switch things up and put on some cotton sheets. So they just came in the mail yesterday. I washed them last night, but the duvet cover is like, it's still being washed and dried right now. It's in the dryer and I keep going to check on it and it's like always in a ball like all twisted up and like tangled together. So it's been really hard for me to dry that. I've been literally doing it for like a few hours now and it's still not dry yet, but we will finish making the bed once that is all dry. But I was like, I can't wait around for it. I kind of need to get ready and get on with the day because after I ate breakfast, had coffee and everything, I laid in bed and I watched Gossip Girl. <laughs> but that's what's up. I just put on a little bit of makeup and threw on an outfit and my hair is a literal mess right now. I just kind of threw it back in a clip to keep it out of my face while I was doing my makeup, but I'm kind of into the little clip right now. Hopefully my bangs aren't that messed up. I blow dried my hair yesterday and I slept on it last night. So <laughs> it's like a little messed up, but it's really not that big of a deal. It's fine. Hi, baby. Milo.
outfit of the day. I'm just wearing a pair of jeans. These are from Rag and Bone and I love them. They're the Logan jean and then my shirt is just a little cropped gray waffle long sleeve from Etern. That's where I get like my sleep set that you guys would have seen me in earlier, like the white t-shirt with the pants and I have it in gray, I have it in black. Those are all from Etern, E-T-E-R-N-E. -E. That's the website. They have really good basics and I love them. And I just like literally feel like I live in them. So this is the outfit, probably gonna throw on a pair of sneakers or something. I need to actually get a pair of socks. Guys, I really hurt my back last week <laughs> and it's been hurting me. I don't even know how I hurt it. I literally was doing nothing and it like hasn't got better. I really was not in the mood to do like a full grocery shop yesterday or the day before because I've literally been to Whole Foods all three days this weekend, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And I just like wasn't ready to do a full grocery shop because I was like, I'll just do it on Sunday to prepare for the week. So here we are ready to go in even though sunday's literally the busiest day they have like all the parking attendants you can see the guy literally behind me the parking attendants in the parking lot here like helping people park because it gets literally crazy on sundays so i was like kind of didn't want to be coming here today but we got to do what we got to do we have to get stuff for dinner and i have to get like stuff to make lunch also more stuff to make breakfast because I literally only have eggs. So we're gonna go in and I'm thinking for dinner tonight, I'm thinking Mexican. That's like what I'm in the mood for. So I'm thinking maybe like a taco, tacos with like a guac and chips and um, we're gonna do something like that. And I'm very excited because I haven't had Mexican food in a really long time. So yeah, also it's starting to rain. It's supposed to rain today, so I need to get in and out of the grocery store before it gets really bad because I don't want to be coming out to my car after and have it be pouring rain. So let's go. I just had the best grocery shop. Well, not because of like the stuff that I bought, but because the guy that was working at the checkout line, he was new, like I went to one of the last lines. It was so busy in there and the sign when you walked up to the line said, like, please be patient because the cashier's in training. And I overheard him saying that it was his like second hour on the job. And normally I feel like there was no one else in the line because people are like in such a rush around here that they're like, I don't want, I don't feel like waiting for somebody who's training. So I went in that line and the guy was so funny. He had such good energy and he was talking to me about just like what I was doing this Sunday. He's like, so how's your Sunday going? And I told him that I got all my laundry done yesterday. And so today it's nice because I don't have to do like a million loads of laundry. I can just kind of like relax and get stuff done. And he was like, okay, most important question. What are you going to binge when you get home now that you don't have any laundry to do? And I was like, I've been rewatching Gossip Girl. And he was like the reboot or like the new one or the old one. And I was like the old one. I've never seen the new one. He goes, I just think that there are some things that should be left undone and that is one of them <laughs> like the new gossip girl and he was like anything that doesn't have serena vanderwoodson shouldn't exist and i was like oh my god you're so funny and so he was like talking about how sex in the city had like a reboot and it's just not the same and it got me thinking that i need to watch sex in the city because i've literally never seen it before and i have so many friends who like love it and he was like, it's funny because it's gonna like really bring you back to like literally another dimension. Like there's no cell phones and life is just so different back when they filmed Sex in the City. And I feel like, I mean, it's kind of like that with Gossip Girl too, because there's no like social media, but there's like the phones obviously to send tips to Gossip Girl. And I just like TV 
in movies and stuff like so much better when there's no social media like I watched a movie recently and they were talking about I think posting on social media or something and I was like what is the point of that like I don't know I feel like they tried like too hard to be relevant with the times and it was just really funny but anyway he was really sweet and nice and it, like made my day just like having conversation because I feel like normally when you go to the grocery store like you literally don't talk to the cashier like maybe you say like hi how are you but you don't like actually get into conversation about stuff and then the guy the one the parking guy right behind me I like was putting my stuff in my car and I was like going to bring my car back and I'm like literally all the way across the I need to get out of this spot because people are trying to park but uh, is he gonna I feel like I'm gonna hit him but he was like taking my car and he's like oh I'll take that for you and I was like are you sure and he's like yeah and then it literally started raining but the fact that he's standing in the rain is making me really sad Anyway, I'm gonna go to give up my spot to somebody. I'll see you guys at home. I just made cookies. I hope that they came out good because my oven is just like so weird. I don't know why, but it takes like longer than usual to cook stuff. These are the cookies that I made. They're so good. They have these ones that are like brownie um, and they're like fudgy and just like all chocolate. And I love them. And I used to get them a lot last year with Emma and Graydon but I just made the chocolate chip ones, but they didn't have the brand that I normally get at Whole Foods. This other one that I like that comes in a red package, so I had to get these, but it's okay. So I made those and I hope that they're good. <laughs> and I'm making tacos right now, which is literally like, this is one of the easiest recipes. They're so simple and they're so good. You can make like tacos, a burrito, burrito bowl, kind of like whatever you want, but I just made some ground beef in my pan and then right here I have a bunch of different spices together. I'm gonna add in all of the seasonings. And then this is key to make your taco meat really yummy. I'm just gonna take a couple spoonfuls of just these whole peeled tomatoes. So I'll do like, wait, I think I got the wrong one. <laughs> I was supposed to get tomato puree, but it's okay because I could just use what's on the side. So I just do a couple tablespoons of this. I'm trying not to get the tomatoes in my spoon, but I should have gotten tomato puree and not whole tomatoes. I messed up by doing that. Um, I'm gonna add one more. And then just mix all of this together. Okay, then what I like to do for toppings, well, first of all, I love these flour tortillas. I just get them at Whole Foods and they're so good. And I add a little bit of cheese, hot sauce, of course, and then some guac, sour cream, pico de gallo, and shredded lettuce. And then this is what they look like. I just feel like they're so simple and just so yummy. I just took <laughs> I just took a bath and shower. I cut my leg while I was shaving and it hurts so bad. But I'm gonna go lay in bed and relax. I'm so excited because the duvet cover <laughs> is finally done. And I put two comforters in the duvet and it made the bed extra fluffy. So I'm very excited to sleep tonight. I don't know how hot it's gonna be because I do have two comforters, like I said, and it makes it like way more thick. But I'm excited because I like the feeling of like something heavy on me when I sleep and I just like love doing this in the winter. Good morning. I took a shower this morning and I let my hair air dry and my bangs. The one thing about having bangs is that you have to keep up with them and I, like didn't blow dry my hair or do anything to it this morning and it's looking a little bit funky <laughs> but it's fine because I am gonna get ready and I'll figure I'll figure out what to do I think I honestly need to get like a little roller to put in my hair just to help my bangs like on days where I don't want to like do blow dry my whole entire head I want to get just like a little soft roller to like twist my bangs up to make them 
look good. I had a really slow morning, made breakfast, brought the dogs to the beach, I had avocado toast and it was really good. I know people hate when I <laughs> talk about stuff instead of showing, but honestly, that is just what I did. I didn't vlog it. I feel like I've shown myself making avocado toast and coffee a million times. So I didn't want to bore you guys with that. But anyway, I need to go. I'm still in my robe, by the way. I haven't gotten dressed yet, but I need to get dressed and get ready because I'm going to be heading out in a little bit. But right now I actually have some work I'm going to do. So I'm going to go down to the office and do that before I get ready. Yeah. Okay, one sec. It's been such a busy day. The last time I vlogged, I was just finishing up emails and doing work. And then I had like a ton of bags. My little, one second. The dog's food is defrosting right now because I forgot to put the farmer's dog in the fridge and Milo's like literally scratching. He's so impatient, but I have to let it sit in a bowl of hot water for like 10 minutes so it gets soft so I can like break it apart. And he's getting impatient. And I had like three huge bags full of like makeup, skincare products, clothes that I've never worn that I donate to this women's house here in Boston. I've done it before and I just dropped off so much stuff today. Mac and I went over there and he drove me and then we dropped it off and we just got home and I am setting up Christmas decorations right now, which I'm very excited about. And the tree, you guys, is up. If you remember when the tree was in the back of my car for months, it's finally up and ready. And I was going to wait till December 1st, but I was like, you know what? I'm just going to put everything up today. I wanted to like film it for like first day of Vlogmas, but I actually have a big delivery that's coming sometime this week. I don't know when it's going to be coming, but it's going downstairs in the basement, which I will actually show you guys where it's going to go because I want to like give you guys a little visualization of what it's gonna look like but I have this area down here where it's more of like a storage area the second half of the basement and I have Christmas stuff right here more Christmas over there and then I just have a, another ottoman for my couch which I just put over here because it didn't fit like in the area where the couch is right now and then I have a bunch of suitcases and this lamp which is broken and that's it and I just have like extra books stuff like that and there's like these random shelves but I'm gonna take these shelves down take those down and right here is gonna be all cleaned out and this area right here is going to turn into a sauna room and I bought a sauna from Sunlight Inn, so it's gonna go in this space and we are gonna have an at-home infrared sauna and I'm so excited. I am obsessed with the infrared sauna and I used to go to this place in Boston called Body Squad and they ended up closing, so I couldn't go anymore and also it was like $500 to buy a pack at the sauna for like a month. I think that got you like 15 visits or something and it was $500 and it was so expensive and I literally would go like every other day so I was spending so much money on this sauna and then they ended up closing and they had all of their products for sale like you could buy them at a discounted price like from the place when they went out of business and I didn't end up seeing the email or anything and I like wanted to buy a sauna but at the same time I feel like those saunas were already like used and dirty so I just went ahead and I bought one <laughs> And I'm really excited. I feel like this is something that is just like a really great investment. It's really good for your health. It's gonna be really good for my skin. I'm literally gonna do it every single day in the morning. And I'm just like very grateful and excited for it because I know that I can just bring it with me to every house that I live in. So I'm gonna have it for, for a really long time. So that's what's happening downstairs. But this is the little 
update with the Christmas tree. I have a bunch of ornaments that are actually coming in the mail that I ordered online last week. And they're probably going to be here sometime this week. And I got a few on Amazon, which are over here. And they're so cute. So I will show you guys these ones that I got. I'm going for like a more memorable tree this year. Every single year for the past few years, I've been getting different ornaments for Christmas, like for my mom. And every year I get one that's just like meaningful to the year. And I just feel like it's more fun that way for me. At least it gives me like something to look forward to, a nice little tradition in the house because there's nothing wrong with aesthetic trees. Don't get me wrong, like I love an aesthetic tree. And I just obviously like love the look of it. But I just grew up having the type of tree which had just like mix match random ornaments that meant something. And every single year it was so exciting for me decorating the tree because I had like my favorites and ones that just brought back so many memories. Like even when I was older, I would like look back and be like, oh, this was like my favorite one when I was little. Like I'd be so excited to put out like the Cinderella ornament because I loved a Cinderella. So I got meaningful ornaments this year and I have a few still in the box from last year which i will show you guys but this one came in and this is milo well it's supposed to be milo looks a little bit like him and then i got, also got a fortune cookie which i thought was so cute and then this little coffee right here and i think i got a few more just like cute little ones off of another website i got like an oyster i got i think like gingerbread house um what else did i get martini i don't know just like random little cute ones and i also got one that looks like max but it hasn't come in yet and i just thought that it'd be fun to have just like a cute little mix matched tree this year and collect start my collection and then once i have kids which is not going to be for a long time like years they can start <laughs> getting new ornaments and we can like pick one out each year that they like love and that has like meaning that year and so then that can be like a little family tradition so anyway um there's a piece of my tree oh i can use this there's a piece of the tree at the very top which is like slanted and it's really bothering me and i need to fix that i also think i need to get oh wait i think it's this part I need to get a new tree topper because I don't think I have really like a good one right now. But I need to look through all of my little ornaments that I have that I have collected and accumulated. I know last year and then I did like a starfish tree which and it reminds me of growing up on the cave. So these are still really cute. I remember Emma and I literally sat down and we hot glued all of these little starfish. And there's so many of them. But I also have this ornament right here, which are just like little LaCroix. How cute are these? A little strawberry, no, guava and tangerine. Those are so cute. LaCroix, I'm like obsessed with their water. Then I have a little angel. This one's me and Milo. My mom used to have these little like angel <laughs> statues when I was younger. And I thought that it was so cute to get. We have the tree skirt, which I need to put on after I vacuum because there's like pieces of the tree which like randomly are on the ground. Which I don't know how because the tree is fake. And this really cute candle, which doesn't smell anymore. Maybe because it's a few years old, but how cute is this? My ex's mom called me this for Christmas a few years ago. And I still have it. These are to hang ornaments. Cute little avocado. How cute is that? My mom got me this last year. And then also, she got me another one. I have like a guitar downstairs with a cowboy hat. I don't know why she got me that one, but she also got me that one. I have to go get it. We have another another fortune cookie. And then we have the hot sauce, which she got me, I think. I don't know why this one wasn't on my tree last year because I think she got me this one two years ago. But I'm obsessed with hot sauce. So this one is 
so so cute I just love I just love this I love all the different vibes and stuff and I think that it's just so special and then we also have Emma this one is Emma supposed to be her praying I should give this to her so she can have it at her apartment and oh we have a wishbone I got this one a few years ago which I think is just like really cute I love stuff like this like wishbones and fortune cookies and just stuff like that I just think that it's I don't know that they're really cute and this is supposed to be the tree topper it's an angel I don't know if we're gonna use her this year I, don't, I just don't know what we're gonna do because I don't know if she like fit at the top of the tree last year and I kind of want to get a star this year but I'll show you guys what she looks like cute little angel and then we have some silver bulbs which are really random really random I never use these okay random and then I also have these like these which I put in the tree last year I don't think I'm gonna use those this year though because those I feel like were for my like natural look that I had last year with the starfish and those so I'm just not gonna we're not gonna do that ah! okay let's put this thing on the top <laughs> guys I don't think that this girl even worked last year that's why I didn't even use it I think that she was still in the box because she she just didn't work out little willow tree angel okay but I'm gonna decorate I mean I literally have like probably five ornaments not five one two three four five six seven eight nine ten I gotta go on Amazon I gotta order some more <laughs> or else my tree is literally gonna be bare okay guys the tree like the top half doesn't work and I don't know why because I've been like playing around with the plugs and everything and it just doesn't work <sighs> and it's so frustrating because I don't know how to fix it and these lights are like obviously the ones that are like already attached to the tree so I don't really know what to do but it looks cute and I can't wait to get more ornaments and I also put the stockings right here because I honestly didn't know where else to put them because I don't have a mantle like I did at my last place so I just put them right here I'm literally <laughs> running out of the house right now but I'm gonna put on this new jacket my boyfriend just got home we're gonna go pick up food and well, I'm gonna go with him for the ride in the car but I <laughs> need to throw on a jacket because it's so cold but this jacket is so cute I love it I'm like really into long coats right now and this is what this one looks like I'll link it for you guys because it's such a cute little light colored Sherpa and it matches my little Uggs he hates the platform Uggs he was like I was gonna try to put them in the donation box today I was like he doesn't get that they're like in style right now also Oh, I like don't want to blow out this candle because I just lit it but also we're literally going right down the street like I feel like if I leave it nothing's gonna happen <laughs> but also it like scares me because the dogs are here and like what if what if you guys and also hi like this is still bothering me <laughs> we're home and I got food <laughs> I'm so excited to eat and I was talking to my mom and my mom was like, Maggie, real, no, yeah, real trees are so much less work than fake trees. And I, I thought I was like doing myself a favor by getting a fake tree and I just feel like it's been more of a hassle than it has been like helpful because obviously like to store it, it's a lot. And then like every little problem, like the lights, I don't even know how I'm going to fix the lights. So... <laughs> Um, yeah, I'm gonna get rid of the fake tree and I'm gonna get a real tree and That's just what's gonna happen. So I think the real tree content is gonna happen during vlogmas so 
just stay tuned for that because I'm pretty sure this is going to be my last vlog to vlogmas. But I'm going to end off this video here because I'm going to eat, take a bath, get ready for bed, probably just like relax and stuff. But I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching. And I will see you guys for vlogmas. Make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss out on any of the videos. I'm super excited. There's so much fun stuff coming up. So definitely don't want to miss out. I'm going to be posting a video every day up until Christmas. And I'm so excited. Love you guys.